guys. Well, welcome to day 16 of the SOS Free Challenge. Um, I am just getting going for the day. I was up on and off all night long, but um, need to start doing school with the boys here pretty quick. I'm going to go downstairs and make a bowl of oatmeal with some uh, applesauce and raisins in it. It's always a good way to start the day. It's easy, it's fast, it tastes good. Um, and then I think I'm going to, hopefully Connor will be able to take care of some of his either science or math by himself for a little while and so I'm going to um, put together some red lentil chili that's a recipe from uh, Chef AJ for lunch um, seeing as I don't really have anything else at the moment to eat so we're gonna do that and um, yeah I'll let you know how that goes the recipe is readily available on the internet um, but I'm not sure um, I've never made it before, so I'm not really 100% sure how it's going to come out, but I'm, I'm hopeful. There's a lot of stuff that she makes that tastes pretty good, so uh, we're going to do that, and then I don't know about supper tonight, and I don't know what else we're doing. I have the boys' schedule arranged so that hopefully we will have this afternoon off, so maybe we will sit and play some board games or something. That would be fun. haven't done that in a long time, actually, like a long time. I'm really bad about doing that with the boys. Um, they tend to do that with their father more because I just don't. Oh, my shirt's all bunched up. I, I just don't. I find like I always have something else that I need to do, which is, you know, true and not okay at the same time. So, anyways, I'm going to go have some oatmeal and get my day started and start school with the boys, and I will talk to you guys again later. Alrighty, guys, so I thought I would show you that I made the red lentil chili. It's beautiful looking. Um, it is definitely not quite as flavorful as it needs to be simply because um, I probably didn't add the right amount of chili pepper to, or chili powder excuse me and I did definitely did not add the amount of chipotle pepper uh, whatever that they all ask for in it so this is what it looks like it's absolutely beautiful it tastes wonderful to me I added here's my bowl I added some rice to mine and then topped it off with a little bit more so I have white rice in my chili and um, I believe that my husband is going to add some more chili powder to his and maybe a little bit more of the chipotle to give it a little bit more flavor but this is what it looks like and it was really I mean I think it tastes great it's just a touch tomatoey um, but I like it that way and my husband it's a touch tomatoey for him and he's just going to spice it up a little bit so okay guys I kind of think this is a win this would definitely be a recipe that I could make and I could eat this without any problems it might actually even be really good to add some corn to it after it's already cooked so that it adds a little bit more um, like a texture to it. Or you could even do some um, chopped up cabbage that you haven't cooked yet. That would be really good too. So anyway, just thought I would share that this is my lunch and it's quite good. I would highly recommend trying this recipe, guys. Alrighty guys, so my day is just about over. I thought I would let you know that we had the same thing for supper that I had for lunch. It was the, um, the chili that I made. So we actually ended up putting it in um, corn tortilla shells, kind of eating it like it was a wrap and putting a slice of very thin slice of avocado in each one. Super good. Would highly recommend if you're going to eat this to make sure you put the full amount of chili powder in it. Very important. Um, corn, something sweet in it would be really good. So I would totally recommend adding some corn. Don't, don't cook it with corn, but add corn uh, to it before you eat it. It was really good with the corn tortilla shells and I had a little salad with it. It was super good. And then I, the other thing I wanted to tell you was my husband did something really exciting. So we decided to get rid of our TV, um, not the TV itself, but like the, whatever we have, direct TV or whatever. We don't ever use it. I have five kids, none of them watch TV. And I'm not saying they don't use electronics, they just don't watch TV. There's nothing on TV that we ever watch. So uh, we called to cancel that, which was kind of a bummer because I'm gonna charge us like a huge fee to do it, but whatever, still cheaper than paying for the next year of service. Um, and so my husband was talking to the guy about potentially changing our internet service because literally guys to upload like one of my eight minute videos is usually about three hours of the computer just sitting there thinking and it goes up one person at a time just one person at a time for like over three hours it's horrible horrible it's so obnoxious especially when i go to if i take my computer with me to work at night and i go to upload the same exact thing it takes like a minute and a half maybe <laughs> like that's it so anyway so we were able to upgrade our plan like significantly for only like 10 bucks more um, a month so I'm super excited about that they're gonna come out and fix the I don't know they have to do something whatever it is they need to do um, to change the service they have to do something at the house level I don't know whatever 
I don't, I don't really care. It doesn't matter. Whatever it is, that they'll fix it, so that's awesome. Um, so, yeah, that's it for me for today. Um, and then tomorrow, I am going to um, I'm gonna try to find something else to make that will hopefully be tasty and delicious because this red lentil chili thing worked out real well. Um, that was awesome. And then um, I need to go to the Asian market and get some Asian-inspired groceries. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, we probably need to do some other grocery shopping too because my husband, can, he used to go on Thursday mornings to Costco and do our weekly grocery shopping there and then stop at Kroger on the way home to just get thousand and ends of things that we needed. And he can't do that anymore because the boys' schooling is a lot more labor intensive and we can't just have my mom come over and hang out with the kids and he can just go do whatever he needs to do. It just wouldn't work anymore. So anyway, <sighs> that's not going to happen. So we need to go probably Sunday morning, it's like at 10 o'clock, as soon as Costco opens, because weekends are ridiculous at Costco, it's awful. But, uh, go get in and get out. But anyway, so tomorrow I will be in touch with you guys and let you know what's going on and all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah, otherwise, just hanging out, chilling, I need to do laundry. Smith has a friend coming over on Sunday, to, I don't know, have you guys heard of Mums? Anyway, it's this like flower thing that they do for homecoming here in Texas. Maybe they do it in other states too. I had never heard of it before. And we moved here and then I had kids that were in high school and they were coming home talking about these mums and I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about because that was just so totally not something that we did when I was in school. Never even heard of it before. And I've lived in more than my fair share of states and I've never heard of this before. I have lived in California. I've lived in New York. I've lived in Iowa, South Dakota, Idaho, Wyoming, and Texas. I've lived in a fair number of states. Never heard of this at any place I've ever lived before. But, meh, whatever. I guess it's a Texas thing. Or maybe it's... Uh, you guys let me know. Where are you from? And do your kids do mums in high school? It's so strange. But anyway, uh, if I remember, which I probably won't, <laughs> but if I remember, I'll post a picture on Sunday of my uh, daughter and her friend are going to be at maybe two friends, I don't know, whatever, are going to be downstairs making them. I'll post a picture of the ones that they make because I help them, uh, excuse me, both of my daughters make one when Samantha was in ninth grade and Ashley was in 10th grade. And, um, yeah, it was a lot of work, Ugh. but that was fun for him. So, and then it wasn't fun enough to do it again for two years, <laughs> I guess, but Samantha decided that she wants to do it again this year for her senior year. So that's cool. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a good one and I will talk to you again tomorrow.